Hey, beautiful love bugs. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video. I have another message for you today, Sagittarius. You know, whenever I turn on my camera, I'm going to do a reading for you. So just expect it. You know, I hope you're having a good day, Sagittarius. I missed you. I know it's only been like, what, one day? But I always miss my Sagittariuses. That's how connected we are. Yes, this reading. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I don't know what's going to come out. But just take the reading in love because I'm giving it in love, okay? I'm utilizing my gifts, my talents in love, Sagittarius. Remember, though, it's a general message, honey. So just take take what you need, you know? You know how you pick out those strawberries and you, you spit out the ones that are bitter and you eat the sweet ones? Okay, well, this is what's happening here. You eat the sweet part of the message and spit out the rest, Sagittarius. If you guys want to contact me, you want to book me, you want to donate to the channel, Sagittarius, just find me through my email address. No clout chasing. I've had people trolling and clout chasing me. Point blank period, that's unacceptable and I don't tolerate it. If you just want to talk to me, it's very simple. I'm very sociable with my people and you guys are my people. Simply email me, okay? I will respond. I have people reach out to me when I pin a comment. They reach out and say, hey, thank you for pinning the comment, you know? And I'm like, you're welcome, baby. So I'm very, very kind when you reach out to me. But I don't like trolls or clout chasers. Sagittarius. Yes, we are in Pisces season, as you know. Yes. Last I checked, the moon was in Taurus. I'm not sure where she is today. Okay, let me know in the comments. Thank you for the love and support. I had a, I had a subscriber say in the last Sagittarius reading that, she mentioned that I said that I had forgot to do a reading for the, for the sign of Sagittarius in my last video. Well, honey, let me get that straight. I never forget to do readings for Sagittarius. I may have done a lot of readings and I just, you know, closed up shop for that day. So let's just clear that up right now. I will never forget to do a reading for you guys. So I want to clarify that. I love you all so much. And I thank God for the gift to be able to work with you so intimately, you know, much like Virgo, Aquarius, Leo. The connection that I have with Sagittarius has just always been outstanding, okay? These are outstanding connections that I have. Every reader has their people, okay? Every reader has their people. Sagittarius is just my people, okay? I love them. They love me. I, I go hard for them. They go hard for me. It's, it's a team effort here, okay? I'm hearing the name Vivica, Veronica, okay, Vanessa. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages? What's going on with these beautiful zodiac signs? What's going on with this beautiful zodiac sign of Sagittarius? This will be my last reading for the day, Sagittarius, so just bear with me. Okay? Mm, we got <laughs> Pisces energy with, yeah. Pisces energy with the fool, okay? Mm, something is coming, something is going. If it wants to go, let it go. If it wants to come, let it in. But make sure you pray about it before you open the door. Okay, Sagittarius. Make sure you get the go-ahead. Make sure you get the green light before you let it in. I feel like you're on a, you're, you're embarking on a new journey or a new path currently. Or you will be. Or you're thinking about it. With the fool. Okay. Yes. Archangel Michael, what else is going on? Oh, Lord. Sagittarius. We got the Two of Swords. This card has been coming out quite a bit today. This is Libra energy. <laughs> Perhaps you got a Libra ex that's trying to come back and Sagittarius said, hell no. Okay. No. No thanks. Next. Okay. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Will you forgive me? First of all, you got to get Sagittarius to unblock you. And they haven't even done that. And I don't think they're going to. Okay. What else is going on, Archangel Michael? Please and thank you. What else is going on? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm hearing the soul is very rich and abundant and flourishing, Sagittarius. Look at this Pisces energy twice. Perhaps you're connected to a Pisces. Perhaps you got a lot of Pisces in your chart. Now, this person doesn't have to be a Pisces, but, you know, they may have a lot of Pisces in their chart. Scorpio, yes, yeah, this is a Scorpio. You see, Scorpio just came out. Sagittarius, this is a Scorpio for some of you. Mm. You see how he was hanging up, just not really taking things seriously? Now his ass is moving. He's on the move. She's on the move, okay? Yes, right off the bat, Sagittarius, I'm going to shut this down right now. This is an ex, point blank period that 
maybe coming back in or thinking about coming back in and wanting to come back in. And that's all I'm going to say. Moving further along into the reading, Archangel Michael, what else is going on for the beautiful Zodiac? <laughs> the beautiful Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. That's the truth. I'm not going to, I did two readings on this ex, okay? Look, he won a third, he won a third video, but we're not going to go there. I'm going to move the reading along. We're going to move it progressively along, okay? If this is not about, yeah, somebody needs a loan. I'm hearing that. If this is not about an ex that wants to come back, then this is Sagittarius, you know, being their freedom-loving, adventurous, beautiful self. Looking good as hell, looking good as ever, okay? Statuesque, beautiful, tall, strong, okay? I'm hearing they're on a the prowl, they're on a the move, okay? Sagittarius, they're not playing. You could have your heart closed off to love. The possibility is not even in your mind of love. You're just living your best life being free and single, Getting invites to different engagements. You're getting invited to different parties, different social events, different things, Sagittarius, okay? Yes, this could be a Sagittarius male here that's on the move, okay? Mm. You could be a real estate agent. Yeah, you could travel for work, Sagittarius, because I see that. You work, you travel for your work. Mm-hmm. Archangel Michael, what else is going on? <laughs> What else is going on for the beautiful zodiac sign of Sagittarius? Yes, Sagittarius, we're going to move it right along. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius energy with temperance. Let me be your angel. Okay, someone says, let me be your angel. That's a beautiful song by Stacey Lattisaw. Okay, you should go listen to that. Let me be your angel. Sagittarius is the earth angel here. Okay, I feel like your emotions are balanced. Yeah, I'm not picking up on a lot of chaotic emotional energy here. I'm picking up on a very stable, balanced Sagittarius watching a reading. Okay? You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. You're handling your business. You're taking care of yourself. Okay? I don't see you too worried about partnerships or love. Okay? Now, you may be, but I don't see that. What's the two of swords? Two of swords. But somebody is certainly concerned about you. Yeah, they are. We got the six of wands. This is Leo energy. Yeah, Sag Sagittarius is focused on the future here. I see that very, very clearly. Yeah, you may be, you may have recently gotten recognized or, yeah, you may have gotten recognized at your job for a great job performance. Okay, you may be in a public eye. You may have a platform where people watch you, uh, Sagittarius. I'm hearing the name Susan. People watch you. They have access to you with the Six of Wands. Yeah, I see. I, I'm hearing you're in a very self selfish energy. That's good. Sometimes you gotta be. Take time to care for yourself, nurture yourself, put yourself first, put your needs first. I see Sagittarius woman buying a purse. You know, take care of yourself, man. Mm, mm. You shining. You look good too, baby. You look good, honey. Yes, <laughs> Sagittarius woman. You may have a big foot. Okay, I see that. A size ten, size eleven. I see that here. You may also have small hands, Sagittarius woman. You may have a, a shoe addiction. You may have a slew of shoes, okay? You love shoes, Sagittarius, okay? Yes, Sagittarius say, I'm being selfish right now, okay? I done gave a lot of my good years to people that broke my heart, to situations that end up hurting me. You done gave a lot of your good years to that, and you ain't doing it no more. You spent a lot of years in toxic situations, toxic relationships, toxic cycles with toxic-ass people. And people also become obsessed with you, Sagittarius, okay? They become obsessed. The Empress is coming out. Yes, you may be a mother, a father, okay? Yeah, you just may be really, really... Look, the devil and the Empress, someone could be very, very, very obsessed with you, Sagittarius. This could also indicate you're a very, very powerful individual, Man, there's like steam rolling off you. You know, you are a fire sign, okay? <laughs> you're very passionate. Your passion is strong, too. It's overwhelming. Yes, you're extremely passionate and sexy and career-driven and career-focused at this time. Man, I see Sagittarius woman shopping, doing pedicures, manicures, buying clothes, buying purses, working Okay, I see you working at a desk. Perhaps you are a secretary, Sagittarius woman. Okay, whatever you do, you're focused on your job. Okay, I'm hearing data entry. Something about data entry. 
Okay, whatever you're doing, man, you're focused on your career. You're focused on yourself at this time. You're not, I don't see love here. Now, you may be a Sagittarius that's heartbroken because a connection has fell, fallen apart. That's here. That's here. You know, you feel a little, you feel, you feel a, you feel a type of way, okay? I'm here in Alabama. <laughs> There's messages coming in. I'm here in Phyllis. Phyllis, you're from Alabama. Okay, what else is going on? Archangel Michael. There's a Phyllis from Alabama that wants to come through the reading. Okay, she does want to come through. She may have been, yeah, country. She wear a lot of country clothes, like, you know, the country western clothes with the hat and the jeans. Okay, yeah. She had like, she wasn't very tall, but she had like a stocky body. But she has a stocky body. Yeah. Mm, yes, beautiful. Wow, you're very emotional too. There's a very emo emotional Sagittarius watching the reading here. And I'm hearing you're very in tune with your emotions. Man, 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 this is beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading for the beautiful zodiac sign of Sagittarius. You're very in tune to your emotions. And ain't nothing getting past you on an emotional level. You may be closed down emotionally just due to so much pain and heartbreak, man. Sagittarius ain't got time for it. You're taking this time to heal. This is what I'm hearing. You're, you're getting more connected to your angels, your ancestors, or you're, you're continuing to hold on to your spiritual team's hand. Okay, you may have recently went through something that was very painful and heartbreaking or mentally stressful on you. But you didn't, you didn't drown. Okay, you didn't drown in your emotions. You didn't let it take you under. You, you grabbed your father in heaven's hand. Our, our Lord and Savior, you grabbed his hand. And you refuse to sink to the bottom because God got you. I see that here, Sagittarius. So now you're in that energies of just focusing on healing, rebuilding, rebuilding, okay? Rebuilding, restructuring, okay? Getting more, <laughs> yes, falling more. Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, you just made me exploring more, Sagittarius. You're exploring more, okay? Archangel Michael, what else is going on? You may be a December Sagittarius watching the reading. Strictly sexual, <laughs> Sagittarius said, "Just give me the, just give me the dick, just give me the pussy, and um, I'll, I'll call you, or maybe I won't, but don't wait on it, okay?" Some Sagittariuses are into just a strictly sexual energy. They're not, they're not looking for a commitment, okay? Point blank, period. Please use protection, Sagittarius. Please use protection. And yes, I use strong language sometimes, Sagittarius. If the message calls for it, it comes out how it comes out, baby. Okay? It comes out how it comes out. Sagittarius is just in that strictly sexual energy. Okay? Some of them, they're not looking for long-term commitments. You may be having a lot of flings at this time. Okay? Or perhaps this is your past energy. You had a lot of sexual-based connections, Sagittarius. Okay? We got vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> Sagittarius, I'm hearing the name Victor. Sagittarius is protecting that vulnerable heart. They're not even playing. They got the swords protecting their heart, okay? Some Sagittarius don't even have their hearts open to the possibility of even thinking about love, okay? They don't want it, okay? This is not the time for love for some Sagittarius. We all have different seasons, okay? We have different seasons. It may not be your season for love. This is your season for growth, self-care, you know, nurturing yourself, you know, focusing on yourself, basically. What else is going on, Archangel Michael? Please and thank you. <laughs> yes, we got integrity. Yeah, there's a very serious, no-nonsense type of Sagittarius watching the reading. That's very business-like, but very spiritual here. Okay? Very spiritual, but very business-like. Okay. Yes. This is a Sagittarius that greets you when you walk into your attorney's office. Okay? She says, have a seat. I will call you back, okay? Or when you when you call a company, this is the Sagittarius that answers the phone and say, you know, yes, we will be with you shortly. Can you hold on? This is a secretary type of Sagittarius. We got interference. Interference. Sagittarius is not letting nothing interfere with their happiness right now. They're putting themselves first for once, okay? For once. They take, they take care of everybody else. Now they've in their energies of taking care of themselves, they're not letting nothing interfere with their own happiness, their own passions. Sagittarius, you're extremely passionate at this time. I know you may be saying, I'm always passionate, but at this particular time, the emotions are there, okay? That emotional vulnerability and passion is very, very, 
like an explosive dynamite, Sagittarius. Okay, that passion with that emotionality and that vulnerability equals explosions. Okay, be careful with who you give that passion to. This is how you get people obsessed and stalking you. Okay, this is how you get them obsessed. <laughs> you may have a Gemini that is obsessed with you. Yes, sir. Ooh, what else is going on, Archangel Michael? You mix that passion with that love and that tenderness and you get a mighty, mighty explosion. Perhaps this is a Scorpio that wants to come back, okay? We're not going to give him that much play, okay? I gave him two readings now, okay? He wants you back, honey. Look, we got boundaries. <laughs> Sagittarius said, I'm good, divinely destined. I got my boundaries up. Yes, spiritual master. You're very spiritual here. You taught somebody some lessons about playing with you too. And you also may have broken a lot of hearts with your sex, Sagittarius. You kept it on a you kept it on a sex base only. Okay, we got stability. Yes, Sagittarius is only focused on stability at this time. Okay, if it ain't making money, it don't make sense. <laughs> yes, if it ain't bringing in no finances, Sagittarius ain't entertaining. Okay, I don't see no love here. I see very good very good energy of focusing on self. Making sure you're happy, okay? Yeah, you may be eating out a lot, Sagittarius. You may have put on a little weight in the middle section, okay? You eating at them fine, fine restaurants. You may cook a lot at home, okay? Yes, you eat a lot of pasta. I'm definitely picking up on the energies of Mamma Mia, okay? A very, very good chef in the kitchen. Uh, Italian Sagittarius watching the reading. Yes, Mamma Mia. Mm. Yes, beautiful energies for this beautiful group of viewers today. I love my Sagittarius. Let's close this thing out. Archangel Michael, please. And thank you, Victoria. I keep hearing Victoria. She's coming through. Phyllis wants to come through too, okay? When I say come through, that means now this could be an ancestor that has crossed over or somebody that's currently connected to you. Sagittarius, okay, they want to come through. Phyllis, Victoria. I'm hearing the name Andrew. Ooh, we got self-esteem. Yes. The Sagittarius is building themselves back up. Okay. They get they getting them. Okay, I'm hearing they getting their mojo back. You know, Stella got her grooves back. Perhaps you are a Sagittarius woman that's engaging in some affair with a younger man. Okay. Perhaps you are a Sagittarius woman that is engaging in an affair with an older man. You just having the time of your life. I see you guys. <laughs> you don't woe his ass out. In that bed, Sagittarius. Hmm? Okay, what else is going on, Archangel Michael? <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to see what I see when I do my readings, but, you know, that's part of the gift. Okay, I don't want to see Sagittarius laid out in that bed all sexified, laying on that man's chest. He's sleeping, or he he's in another world. She don't put him in a hypnotic state. I don't want to see that, but that's part of the gift, honey. <laughs> that's part of it. I see it. I see you. Yes, very, very funny. I'm picking up on Eddie Murphy. He may be your favorite comedian. I love Eddie Murphy. I channel him quite a bit. He is a funny, funny, gifted man. Yes, very, very, very gifted. Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I don't want it to seem like it's rushed. I kind of feel like it's rushed, and I don't like that. Okay, I kind of feel like I need to slow it down. This could be the energy. You just need to slow it down, Sagittarius. You may be going super fast, man. You know, you out here, you you see the first overall card is the fool. You just out here, you you just going. Perhaps it's time to slow it down, bring it in a little bit. Okay, take a little time to relax. Take some deep breaths. Do your meditation. Okay, Archangel Michael, how do you want to close this out? Because I felt the need to slow the reading down. I felt the need to slow it down because it felt like it was speeding. <laughs> Going at a very fast, rapid pace. Perhaps you speed, Sagittarius. Okay, no speeding, beautiful one. Okay, says the Virgo who has a tendency to speed sometimes myself. I need to, I need to, take, I need to take heed to that one, Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> It's like when I'm when I'm mad, I drive better, Sagittarius. Are you like that too? <laughs> and you be like, damn, how did I get home so fast? <laughs> we got the throat chakra, Sagittarius. Yes, you may be a gifted vocalist, okay? You may be a gifted vocalist. There's something significant about your voice, your speaking voice, your singing voice. Yes, 
Very beautiful. You may have your rising in Taurus, you know. You may have your moon, okay, in Taurus. I'm hearing no. So there's a Sagittarius is like, no, I don't have my moon in Taurus. Well, perhaps you have your moon in Virgo, okay. There's something very significant about the speaking and singing voice. Your throat chakra may be blocked right now, or it just may be very active. You're laughing. You see humor and throat chakra. Yeah, Sagittarius. Man, Sagittarius. Live, this Sagittarius right here, I love you. You're living your best life. You're doing your thing. Ain't nothing standing in your way. <laughs> I love this Sagittarius right here. She laughing. He laughing. Okay, you laughing so hard your throat hurt. Okay, your voice is gone. You may be watching a lot of comedy plays, movies. Okay, I love this Sagittarius. This Sagittarius is healed, man. Ain't nothing hurting them. Not on no emotional level. Okay, they ain't letting nothing hurt them emotionally because they're focused on this on themselves. And that's what it's about. Focusing on yourself so that you can attract higher vibrational, higher vibrational people into your life. And that's what you're doing, Sagittarius. You're attracting, you are attracting. Okay. I'm hearing you are attractive. I know you are. Okay, you are attracting high vibrational energies into your life, opportunities. I see the heart chakra, okay? Oh, <laughs> I'm definitely picking up on like an ice blue. It may be a little cold. The heart chakra, man, I'm telling you, Sagittarius ain't playing. Some of these Sagittarius don't even have that thing open for the possibility of love. And that's fine, okay? It used to be Sagittarius was isolated and sad. Look, at, look how they broke free. Look how they broke free. Look how they were always free, but they had to discover that. They had to know that they deserved to be treated better. better. Delaware is coming through. They had to know that they deserved to be treated better than what they were being treated. They had to know that they could have more than what they were given or being given. They had to know that they deserve infinite abundance, which is already their birthright. They have discovered that and they have broken free. And there ain't no way in hell they ever going to go back to this. At least not right now. And when they get back in this sadness and isolative type of energy, they're going to reemerge, okay? Like that butterfly out that cocoon once again. Because they're not meant to stay down. I love you, Sagittarius.